subscribe to our channel, and help us to spread the word. Catholic Meditation, February 1st, 2024. He sent them, 22, together. St. Mark writes, At that time, Jesus called the twelve, and sent them out two by two, giving them authority over unclean spirits. Jesus calls them. He knows each one. He knows their character, limitations, gifts, and qualities. Jesus knows me, accepts me, wants me, as I am. He calls me, and now, Master, you send me to walk these paths. You send me to proclaim your love. You know me and you send me. You know my limitations, my failures, my fears, my shyness, my insecurities. But you send me because you called me first, and you love me first. But you don't want me to go alone. You send me two by two. I have the prayer of the entire church the help of the Holy Spirit, your presence, Lord, two by two. I also need to lean on my sisters and brothers in faith, for them to pray for me, to strengthen my faith, to lend me their courage, their ability to speak, their skills, two by two. And you give me authority, Lord, authority that comes from baptism, affirmed in confirmation, the authority to give your gospel, your hope, trust in you, the authority of your love. You give me authority over unclean spirits, to free myself from them, to protect those I encounter on the way. You give me this authority through your prayer, the Our Father, through your Eucharistic presence, through my work done with love, with the powerful weapon of selfless love. Jesus, I want to hear your call, respond to it, and be able to go through these worlds accompanied by you, to, with authority, Restore love and joy to those who have lost it. Mary, I am sent by Jesus, wherever the Divine Spirit leads me, in my daily life. But I don't see myself capable of much if you don't accompany me. You know, Mother, that your son has told me that we must go two by two. You and I, accompany me. If you enjoyed this guided meditation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And now, after this brief guided meditation, we will continue with a theological commentary on the passage MK 6, 7-13. The passage from Mark presents a pivotal moment in the ministry of Jesus, where he sends his disciples on a specific mission. This episode reveals essential aspects of Jesus' teaching and power, as well as the nature of the mission entrusted to his followers. Firstly, the decision to send the disciples two by two highlights the importance of community and collaboration. In Christian mission, this approach not only provides mutual support and emotional strength, but also reflects the biblical tradition of sending messengers of God in pairs, as seen in the Old Testament with Moses and Aaron, among others. Community is a vital component in the spread of the gospel, emphasizing interdependence and solidarity among believers. The authority given to the disciples over unclean spirits emphasizes the spiritual dimension of the mission. The battle against unclean spirits represents the struggle against the forces of evil and the liberation of those who are oppressed. This authority does not come from human strength but is granted by Jesus, underscoring the centrality of his divine power in the redemptive work. Christian mission involves not only the proclamation of the word, but also confrontation with adverse spiritual forces. Preparation and dependence on divine provision are also key aspects of the passage. Jesus instructs the disciples to rely on the hospitality of those they visit, a lesson in dependence on God's providence. This teaching reinforces the idea that Christian mission is not solely based on human resources, but on trust in divine guidance and provision. Additionally, the act of shaking off the dust from their feet symbolizes the disciples' responsibility to proclaim the word even when not well received, leaving the outcome in God's hands. In summary, Mark 6, 7-13 presents a formative moment in Jesus' ministry where he instructs his disciples on the importance of community, spiritual authority, dependence on God, and the proclamation of the gospel. 
These principles remain relevant for the mission of the Church today, reminding us of the need for collaboration, trust in divine authority, and perseverance in proclaiming the redemptive message.